Hello, Assalamu alaikum. How are you today? Guess what? I have an amazing story to share with you today. It's about Wanda and her friend. This is Adam. Adam, would you like to hear the story? Looks like Adam does. Do you want to hear the story? Are you ready? Okay. Wanda was all set to take her best friend, the alien, on his very first camping trip. But the weather was miserable. That's right. They waited and waited and waited. Would it ever stop raining? It was getting later and later. We'll just have to go camping another day, said Wanda sadly. Then, all of a sudden, the alien had an idea. He passed Wanda her umbrella, helped her on with her backpack, took her hand and guess what? Ran with her all the way to his rocket. As they zoomed into space, Wanda realised where they were going. Of course, she said, we can camp on your planet. Wanda had been camping lots of times. She had come prepared. In her backpack, she had packed a mallet to bang in the tent pegs, a bedtime story. Oh, that's going to be so much fun. A torch so they could see at night and some tasty snacks to eat in the tent. Tasty snacks! Wow! The alien didn't really know what camping was. So, in his backpack, he had packed... What did he pack? What did he pack? His duck... A duck! Some balloons... Some balloons! His cactus and his rubber ring. Can you believe that? A rubber ring! While they were in the rocket, Wanda tried to show the alien how to put up the tent. The alien had a lot to learn about camping. As they flew, Wanda thought of her favourite place to camp. We need to find somewhere beautiful, she said. Once they landed on the alien's planet, the alien took Wanda's hand. I wonder where they're going to go. Wow! They flew to the most beautiful place he could think of. It's a bit noisy here, she shouted. I was thinking somewhere that's peaceful and quiet, said Wanda looking down at the busy city below. Luckily, the alien knew just the place. But this was just a little bit too quiet. Wanda didn't want to hurt the alien's feelings, but these places just weren't right. Hmm, maybe somewhere with wildlife would be better, she said. The alien thought of somewhere straight away. Where did he think of? I wonder where he thought. But the wildlife on the alien planet was a bit too wild. Perhaps there just isn't anywhere on your planet that's good for camping, said Wanda sadly. The alien nodded in agreement and Wanda looked even sadder. But then... A smile started to creep across the alien's face and he pointed up at the sky. They wouldn't camp on the alien planet, but above it. Cloud camping, said Wanda. It's perfect. We can invite all your friends. And one thing's for sure, it won't matter if it rains. So, finally, side by side, under the stars, everything fell.
felt right. Now this is camping, said Wanda. Ah, oh, wasn't that a lovely story? All about adventure. Did you like that, Adam? He really liked that. I hope you like that too. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.